Last week, Nintendo dropped the first 8 new tracks included in the Booster Course Pass DLC added to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. The selection of track is pretty good, bringing back classics from Mario Kart DS, Mario Kart Wii and Mario Kart 64, but it also brings tracks from the mobile game Mario Kart Tour and allows you to play them on the big screen for the first time. Among those tracks, there is one from Tour that's actually pretty interesting and it is called Paris Promenade. In Mario Kart Tour, most tracks feature a bunch of variants, allowing you to explore the tracks in ways you wouldn't expect. For example, in Paris Promenade 1, you start off by going left when you reach the Arc de Triomphe and you move through the race. But if you play Paris Promenade 2, you'll actually go a different way and will end up on the right side of the monument. So obviously, when Nintendo brought Paris Promenade to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, they didn't want to waste two slots of DLC tracks to have the two different variants of the same track. So they had to be clever and introduce something new to the series. The way they did that is by featuring all of the streets from the Mario Kart Tour tracks, but they added arrows pointing you in the direction you're meant to go. For lap 1 and lap 2, you'll be exploring the different landmarks normally. But once lap 3 arrives, you'll see that the arrows will be pointing to a brand new road on the right over there. Yup, lap 3 is actually different in this track. In fact, you'll actually be going backwards at one point in the track, meaning that if you outlap your opponents, well, you'll actually be able to bump into them, which is actually quite funny. Anyways, there is something even more interesting to Paris Promenade. As you approach the Eiffel Tower in lap 1 and lap 2, you'll be arriving from the north part of the track, and you'll see a big blue ramp that you'll use to fly above the Jardin du Trocadéro and land under the tower. But the thing is, as lap 3 is actually different, you'll be arriving from the south part, and as you can see, there's also a big blue ramp that allows you to fly above the gardens. The thing is, I don't actually remember that ramp from lap 1 and 2, and for good reasons. It's not even there! So basically, what I'm telling you is that they are actually allowing you to race backwards in lap 3, but they also adapt the racetrack so that you don't notice it that much. That's actually pretty cool! Until you think about people that are actually quite slow and super late. How will they get under the Eiffel Tower if there's a big ramp blocking them from doing so? Well, to solve this problem, I decided to just stop and wait for the computer player to get to lap 3 to see the ramp appear with my very own eyes. So I just drove there, I stopped, I waited, and um, there's no ramp in sight. But hey, it's still lap 1 and 2 for those guys. Oh wait a minute, look at the minimap now. Other players are actually about to start lap 3. Come on little ramp, it's time for you to appear now. Uh oh, those players are getting dangerously close now and still no ramp to be seen. Oh no, they'll run into me and they won't make it through the gardens. Uh, what? Wait a minute. Do you see what I'm seeing right now? The players are bouncing off an invisible ramp? They're just flying? That's pretty weird, isn't it? Heck, even the items like green shells are actually flying in midair now. How does that even work? Is that a glitch? Well, yes and no. What I mean by that is that, sure, seeing characters fly in midair out of nowhere may seem like a glitch, but it is actually normal. This is the type of thing you are not meant to see. Typically, Mario Kart races are actually quite close, so having two laps ahead of other players is something that just doesn't happen in real life. Unless you do as I do and you literally break and wait for it to happen. Plus, Paris Promenade features all sorts of ways to prevent you from going places you shouldn't be going to. First off, if you try to get to a street when an arrow is actually blocking you, well, Lakidu will just bring you back on track. Same thing if you try to go backwards in this one, Lakidu just won't let you do that. And if you look behind you and you decide to reverse, because you know, you're clever, well, Lakidu is even more clever than you are because he won't allow this kind of behavior. Finally, if you truly want to see something funny, just go to split screen multiplayer and have one player stay close to the tower on lap 1 and have the other player drive there on lap 3. It leads to, well, this. <laughs> one player sees the ramp and is able to interact with it and the other player just goes through it, as it doesn't even exist in his world. 
Now, this is actually kind of cool. It looks funny, and you can do all sorts of crazy things, like, you know, driving through the ramp on one screen and above the ramp in another one. Yeah, as you can see, you can do all sorts of funny stuff. It's pretty nice. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching this video. If you learned something new, well, smash like. And if you didn't learn something new, well, uh, whatever. I'll, I'll try harder next time. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video. Bye!